What is going on, Phantom Armies? Your boy Phantom Stilts, and welcome back once again, guys, to a brand new video on the channel. Today, we're taking a look at a little bit more of an informative video rather than a tutorial video. And today, we're going to be talking about NVIDIA Broadcast. Now, if you guys don't know who NVIDIA is, uh, they're basically one of the forerunners and basically the foremost experts on graphics cards, basically anything to do with your computer. They're one of the big head honchos involved with computer parts as well as AMD. Um, if you don't have a NVIDIA graphics card, you probably have an AMD graphics card, but NVIDIA is one of the big head honchos when it comes to computer parts and computer capability. Um, one of the coolest things that they've come out with in the last couple of months, or actually the last year or so that I've seen, is NVIDIA Broadcast, and that's exactly what we have up here right now. Um, there is a caveat to NVIDIA Broadcast. They are uh, only, of it, it is an app that's only available with certain graphics cards, um, and I will pull up the, I'm actually gonna pull up the uh, specifications that you do need for NVIDIA broadcast to work on your computer. It does not work on all uh, graphics cards. It only works on certain graphics cards. Um, so I'll go ahead and pull that up for you right now. And here we go, guys. This is the uh, system requirements for the NVIDIA broadcast app. As you can see, you have to have an, an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2060, a Quadro RTX 3000, or a Titan RTX or higher in order for it to work. It is only compatible with NVIDIA graphics card. It does not work with AMD graphics card. It is only available for NVIDIA style graphics cards. You have to have eight gigs of RAM or higher. If you have a PC that's running, you know, Apex Legends or any kind of gaming computer, you're gonna be fine with eight gigs of RAM. I actually have 32 gigs of RAM just to future-proof my PC, but you guys can find all my PC specs down in the uh, description of every video. Um, also, they recommend, you don't have to have this, but they recommend having an Intel i5-8600 or an AMD Ryzen, or a Ryzen 5 2600 or higher. I have a Ryzen 7 3700X in my computer, so my computer's more than efficient enough to run the software. Um, then the studio drivers you have to have the uh obviously the most updated if, if you just have nvidia experience for example if you have an nvidia graphics card um usually with nvidia on uh, the nvidia experience which is where you update your graphics card and whatnot that will usually give you and there's some settings that i can show you guys in, a, in another video uh down the road about how to uh, update your graphics card and that kind of thing you actually do automatic updates so it actually downloads the update for you and then all you have to do is hit the install button so that's pretty cool and then obviously internet connectivity during installation so what's really cool about this app is that it's multifaceted it can do a bunch of different things it's not just a one trick pony as uh, as i like to say so the coolest thing i think about the software in general is if you've ever dealt with a green screen before or tried dealing with a green screen before it's the most headache inducing thing i've ever done in my entire life when it comes to streaming or making tutorial videos trying to get your you know your background to sort of meet you know, what you're trying to do in the background. As you guys can see, I have a display capture in my OBS software, my Streamlabs OBS, that allows me to capture my uh, video um, within OBS, as well as the cursor and the computer screen that I'm looking at. So that's how you guys are seeing uh, the video feed right now. So with that being said, like I said, this app is sort of multifaceted. So it does a bunch of different stuff that's really, really, really cool. Um, as you guys can see, there is a camera source or a camera beta version of the software. So basically, if you've ever tried to tackle a green screen, this does it for you. If you've ever used anything like Microsoft Teams or um, Zoom or um, Skype, I don't even know if Skype had this, but it allows you to remove the background and gives you a crisp, clear chroma key, no matter the background, no matter the lighting, no matter what. It does an awesome, awesome job. So as you guys can see, all you have to do is sort of uh, pick your um, webcam here. As you guys can see, I have the Logitech C920. That's from recording. It's actually right here in front of me. Um, the Logitech C920 is my webcam. So you go to the drop down, you plug in your webcam like you would for any other software. It recognizes it and you pick your webcam. And then on top of that allows you to do, it doesn't have 60 frames per second yet, but 30 frames per second, there's not a huge difference between 30 frames and 60 frames, honestly, with video quality. There's a little bit of a difference, but if you're at 1920 by 1080 running 30 frames, it's gonna look almost identical to 60 frames. It barely looks any different. Um, so then you're able to do your resolution there. So some people like to do 2080 by 720 or 1280 by 720, I should say. Um, that's a little bit easier or less taxing on your CPU and your GPU. But if you have a relatively good PC like I do with you know a, a Ryzen 7 processor and a 2060 you know GPU, you're more than equipped, more than equipped to run 1920 by 1080 just on your webcam. Um, when it gets into the uh, 
when it gets into the um, video settings for like doing like live streams and stuff, that's a little bit different. Then you're gonna have to sort of tweak your settings if you wanna do a single PC setup, but that's in another video. Um, so I usually do 1920 by 1080 at 30 frames per second. That's what I like. It gives me the most clarity and the most um, up-to-date frames. Um, and then the coolest thing, like I told you, it does background removal. So it does a couple different things. You can do it based on quality or based on performance. And then you can add effects to it if you want to. But the background removal, I think, is the coolest thing out of the bunch. So if you remove this effect, you're going to see my stuff in the background. So you can see what I used to use as a green screen that's going to be taken down. I'm not going to be using it anymore. But this is the coolest thing. Watch this. You add an effect. You do background removal. Toggle it on. You have your own personal green screen. That's free software. You don't have to pay for this app. It's free software. How cool is that? So we have that. And then uh, you can do a couple of different things with the backward, background uh, removal stuff too. So if you turn this off and you go to add effect, or you want to actually just want to remove this effect here, you go add effect, you could do like a background blur. So if you still wanted stuff in the background, if you had like a meeting or something you were doing um, or something like that, uh, you could do a background blur, which is basically essentially the same thing as the background removal. It just gets, it blurs the stuff behind you rather than um, physically removing it. So if you toggle that on, as you can see, the background back here got a little blurry. It's not as um, opaque as uh, as it probably should be. So if you do like a, um, go ahead and adjust my webcam here. That way you guys can see the full effect of the blur. So um, go ahead and just, I'm gonna hit the alt key here on my OBS. We're gonna bring this out here. I'm just gonna go ahead and resize my webcam for you so you guys can see what I'm talking about. So with the background blur, if you, do, if you up the strength, all the way to the top, as you can see, everything behind me is now blurred. You can't see anything back here very clearly, uh, but everything in the foreground is opaque. It's easy to see. Um, and then if you turn off the background blur, what we'll go ahead and do is I'm just gonna go ahead and show you one more. Um, the auto frame or the background replacements actually pretty cool. So it allows you to do a sample background. So say I wanted to do something for like, um, uh, let's see here. It allows you to pick like a, uh, a background for it. So let's see, what do I want to do? I know I had some stuff that I've been doing Mafia uh, Definitive Edition for you guys. Let me see if I can find a good Mafia background. So as you guys can see, now I'm in the background. Now the Mafia background is in my background. Um, if you wanted to do another image, such as like, I know I have a Blood Hunt wallpaper here. That's pretty cool. That's the Blood Hunt wallpaper. So you can sort of see that. That's pretty cool. Um, so it allows you to do a bunch of different things with your camera. I, I think the coolest thing that they've come out with is honestly the background removal. And then obviously you could do like the auto frame, which is going to move around with you as you move around the camera. See how it sort of follows me? Isn't that cool? See how seamless it is too? That's probably the coolest thing I think about the auto frame is how seamless it is. There's no lag. There's absolutely nothing. And it keeps you in the center of the frame. Um, you could also do the zoom. So if you wanted to go zoom all the way out, you wanted to go over here. So you've got a little bit of zoom that way. It sort of follows me here. There we go. See how it's following me around the picture within the camera scope. See how it's following me. Isn't that cool? So that's the auto frame. I think that's a really cool feature as well. Um, and then the last but not least, there's video noise removal. So video noise removal basically for the most part is like if you had like really bad video quality and you're having like a bunch of bubbles or like grainy picture in the background, it gets rid of all that. It sort of does like a wash of the entire uh, video feed, which is pretty cool. Um, so we'll go ahead and put on the backward or background replacement or the uh, background uh, removal rather. Um, and we will go back to what we were doing before. So uh, you can move this over here and there we go okay so we have the background removal there and then what i also wanted to show you guys was the uh microphone stuff so the microphone stuff is really cool as well it allows you to record a sample of your microphone in real time so you can actually hear what it sounds like versus you know without the stuff or the effects that we're going to apply to the microphone um so I use the Go XLR. That's what I use for my audio interface. So that's why you see the chat mic, uh, Halcyon, um, excuse me, Helicon Go XLR Mini in there. 
And that's how I have my audio face uh, interface set up that my microphone is now this chat mic here. Um, and it allows you to do a couple different things within here as well. So room echo, re uh, room echo removal. So if you turn this on, it will, I'm going to go ahead and add an effect as well. I'm going to do noise removal as well. So if you have like a, if, if you have like a room that makes you sound like you're in like a cave, uh, more or less, and you want to get rid of that, that's something brand new that I didn't know room echo removal was available. So that's something that's in beta form, which is pretty cool. Um, and you can toggle this up all the way. Um, that way, uh, it should sound a lot better than if I toggled it off. So if I toggle both of these off, you can hear probably how the, uh, mic sounds a little bit more grainy, a little bit more or less processed, a little less full, that kind of thing. And if you toggle them back on, you should hear a significant difference on how the mic sounds. Um, but, uh, as well as that, there is also uh, speaker quality. So um, that's pretty cool as well. I don't really use the speaker one as well, but I figured I would show you that one as well. Um, so the system allows you to do, uh, if you're having like trouble with your uh, speaker audio, like something coming through your headset or something like that, it's a really, really cool feature. It gets like some noise removal out of it. If you have like, you know, an air conditioner or a fan running in the background, like I do over here, um, it allows you to sort of alleviate all of that stuff. So it's one of those things that if you have the right components, I would strongly just just for the microphone and just for the camera capabilities i would download the software for the sheer fact that once i you know when i said that green screens are a headache and a half they're one of the most frustrating things to get right and this sort of does it all for you it just gets rid of it everything for you so um hope you guys enjoyed it i will link in the description the uh link to get nvidia broadcast if you have the right components i suggest and seriously seriously recommend you guys getting the software if you can because it just it makes everything so much easier um it's completely changed how i do things i fussed around with the green screens you guys can see i have a green screen behind me that i don't even use anymore i'm probably gonna end up taking it down but um it's just one of those things that comes along every once in a while that really makes things so much easier for you and, and and nvidia is really good about doing that kind of stuff so i hope you guys enjoyed the video make sure to like and subscribe you guys are brand new to the channel here uh make sure to hit that bell notification so you guys know exactly when and where my videos go live and then obviously on top of that the live streams when you guys will be able to see the live streams and stuff like that and get notified also make sure to follow all of the social media links in the description that's like discord instagram twitter twitch all that good stuff is all in the description hope you guys enjoyed it make sure you download the software if you have the right components i seriously Seriously, thank you guys will be tickled pink at, at how much easier it makes your life. But without any further ado, like I said, this is your boy Phantom Stilts. I'll see you guys on the next video. Take care, guys. Stop!